former Israeli Miss World and now global advocate in the fight against sexual violence, Lenore Abergil, has been featured in a new documentary in which she talks about her rape and interviews dozens of other victims. The documentary, titled Brave Miss World, tells the story of the 18-year-old who was raped at knife point six weeks before winning the top title of Miss World. The first time that I, I mean, that I really realized what happened to me is when I won. Really? I mean, the extreme of being in hell for me and then being on this weird stage with this weird crown on my head really... Um, I really just then realized what happened three months ago in Milan. And, I, and the fact that I really have to go home fast. And the last thing that I wanted to do is just to stay there. The young beauty was auditioning for modeling jobs in Milan in 1998 when she asked Yuri Shlomo Nur, an Egyptian-born Israeli who ran a travel agency, to arrange a flight for her back to Israel. Nur told her there were no flights from Milan to Israel and offered to drive her to Rome, where she would be able to catch a plane. On their way to the airport, Nur pulled over on the side of a deserted road, stabbed her, strangled her and raped her at knife point. Abergil managed to escape and refused to be silent about the rape. She pressed charges, spoke out publicly and testified at a trial that sent her attacker to prison for 16 years. Throughout the trial, Abergil refused to have her name concealed or her face or voice distorted in media coverage, insisting that there was no reason for her to hide or be ashamed. If you go through something that's very bad or very hard, the only pill you can take is just to tell and to take it out of your system because if you don't, it's like a tumor. It becomes bigger and bigger till it kills you. I believe this is the only way to handle every hard thing you go through your life. Just tell it. In Brave Miss World, Abergil's journey is chronicled from teenage rape victim to lawyer, activist, and finally to wife and mother who has discovered a comfort in the Orthodox Jewish faith. The documentary was shot over four years and shows the 34-year-old advocate listening to the stories of rape victims. It was really one of the hardest things I did. I ever did in my life and I didn't expect it to be this, that hard and uh, so emotional to me and I didn't think it was going to take uh, uh, six years out of my life and it was very hard to meet all these women uh, that most of them told me that their stories for the first time and in a lot of, a lot of times I, I, didn't, I didn't have anything to say. To, to the things that I hear, that I heard. After a brief marriage to former NBA player Sarunas Yasikovicis, she's now remarried to Oren Halfon with three children under the age of two, including a pair of twins. 